What's up team? Welcome back to Worked and welcome back to Stacked Day 12. We got an upper body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're gonna start off with 20 jumping jacks, 20 seal jacks to get loosened up. In three, two, one, and go. 20 jumping jacks. After 20, we're going seal jacks, hands coming out in front, jumping wide, squeezing those shoulder blades back and together, opening up the chest a little bit. From there, we're going three inchworms with a push up. Start at the bottom of your mat, keep those legs straight, reach down, touch the toes, you're gonna walk out into a plank, full push up, walk back in, arms stay straight. Three times through. From there, we're going into 10 body weight squats. Feet shoulder width apart, nice and low. Driving through the heel. On your last rep, we're gonna sit in the bottom and do some upward rotations, open up those, that chest a little bit. <clears throat> last rep, sit down at the bottom, Elbows go inside of your knees. Left hand is gonna go down on the ground. You gotta rotate up towards the ceiling. Switch sides. Three on each side. Should feel a nice stretch in the chest. When you're done, you're gonna hop up. You're gonna go 10 big arm circles forward. Try to get those palms facing outward. Today's an upper body day, so we want that upper body, shoulders, chest area nice and loose and warmed up. <clears throat> then we're going 10 crosses. All right, team. So, circuit A. Very similar to yesterday's first circuit. We're going to double up on some pushes. So, we got three rounds. Our first move is 40 seconds of dumbbell chest presses, 15 seconds rest, and then 30 seconds of elevated push-ups. So it's gonna look like this. Dumbbell chest presses, you're on your back on a bench or you can do it on the floor. Hands are coming at, nine, at a 45 degree angle. If you're on the floor, elbows are gonna tap the floor. If you're on a bench, you can get a little bit lower. I'm gonna go with 50s. We're gonna go 40 seconds of presses. So from here, driving straight up, get that lower body squeezed on the ground, and drive up. From there, we're going right into a 15 second rest, and then we're gonna do an elevated push up. So on the side of a bench, a chair, a couch, we're setting up in a standard push up position, core nice and tight, down, explode up. 30 seconds, you're trying to pump out as many as you can. If you don't have something elevated, you can do it at the floor, but your chest might be fatigued, and I don't want a lot of rest here, which is why I'm doing it on an easier level, so I can just pump out as many as I can. Then we're gonna go 45 seconds rest, and we're gonna run through that three times. Any questions, guys? We good? Let's do it. Take level, pretty good. A little louder, good. Bump it up a little bit. I can't always hear. Ten second countdown team, get your dumbbells ready, we got 40 seconds of chest presses, I'm going with 50s, 3, 2, 1, work, squeeze nice and slow back down, drive back up. Oh. 
about a two second tempo on the way down. Come on. Seven. Two. One. Rest for 15. Elevated push-ups or do them on the ground if you can. I'm gonna start on the elevation and just try to pump out as many as I can. Three, two, one, work. Exploding up. Squeeze that chest at the top. Focus all the intention on your chest. Triceps. hurt a bit even on the elevation you should be pumping them out Let's go. it's a little bit like a drop set we got 45 seconds we're back to the chest presses go a little heavier but felt easy although after the push-ups might be a little harder 25 seconds team make sure those hands are coming down at a 45 degree angle keep this nice thing you don't want too wide you don't want too narrow right in the middle here 12 seconds. Start setting up. Eight. Five. Two. One. Work. Press. Come on, 12 seconds, couple more good reps. Three, two, one. Rest for 15. Push ups. If you start to hit failure on your incline push ups, go to a higher incline if you have it. Three, two, one. Work. Down, slow it up. Push-ups, those hands are coming in at the same angle as the chest press. We're trying to replicate the same thing on both of them. That's a safe position for your shoulders. One more round, team. 25 seconds. Nice deep breath. Shake out those arms. Start getting set up. We're going in 15. Eight. Let's go. Five. Last round through, guys. Nice rest coming up after this. Three, two, one. Work. Squeeze those dumbbells hard. Totally fell. Work. Woo. 
20 seconds. Circuit B, we got 40, we got a little different format. We're going 45 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. That's our intervals, we only got 40 seconds rest between rounds. Three movements. We're going wide to narrow rows as the first movement. You wanna go a little lighter on this than you would for a standard row. I'm gonna go 30 as the start and see how it goes. So, dumbbells at your side, slight bend in the knees. You're gonna bend over at the hips, pushing the low back and butt back towards the wall. Low back stays flat. You're gonna row narrow, so elbows stay tight to your sides, and then alternate. Your palms are gonna come forward, and you're gonna row wide. So narrow, wide, alternating back and forth. So from me, a standing up position, it looks like this. Palms are facing each other, and then I'm coming down. My palms are coming, pointing towards me and I'm coming wide with the row. Back down, in narrow, wide. You need to go a little lighter because of those wide rows. They're a little harder. That's our first move. Then we get 25 seconds rest. And we're going 45 seconds of push presses. I'm gonna go 25s here. Dumbbells come up, they rest on the shoulder. I like to grab towards the end of the handle. And we're using a little momentum from the legs and hips. So feet, right underneath your hips, a little bend of the knees, hips go back a little bit and you explode, lock out overhead, nice and slow back down, reset, and then bend the legs again. Nice and slow back down, reset. If you find yourself bending your knees as you come down, try to correct that. So you wanna come down with your legs straight, reset, dip, drive. That momentum of the first couple inches of the press should come from the legs, shouldn't be pressing. So you're kind of pressing with the legs and then locking out with the arms. That's our second move. And our third move, you want an even lighter weight, we're gonna do valley presses. We haven't done these in a while. Hands are gonna be in a curled position. You're staying right here, you're pulling in, and then you're gonna drive straight out and across. I'm gonna use tens. You wanna come across the body a little bit. So you can almost let them come together and touch. And you're coming, you're staying in this 45 degree angle at the elbow. Really focus on squeezing the upper chest and squeeze as you come across. I might go tens on this. Can I show you a little bit? Yeah. You wanna go very light. You can even use a band for this. If you wanna hold the band here, if you have too heavy of dumbbells, and just go in and out. 10 seconds, team. Any questions? Are we good? Let's do it. Narrow, wide rows in three, one. Work, I'm going 30s. Hands stay narrow, wide. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. Come on. Squeeze. Five, two, one, rest. Woo! 25 seconds rest team, a little longer rest here because we want to go heavy. It's a lot in the upper body. When you're doing that overhead press, try to get those biceps near your ears. You don't want the dumbbell coming out here. Seven seconds, pick up our weights. I'm going 25s here. Three, two, Push presses. Squeeze, dip, drive, nice and slow down. Three set, dip. From the side. Twenty seconds. Come 
One. Rest. 25 seconds, team. Valley presses. Whew. Thank you. Palms stay up in that curl position. Squeezing out and together. In five, three, two, one. Squeeze up. Hands are almost up at the shoulder height when you come up. Feel that chest. Bring those dumbbells together. Whew, a little rest if you need it. Should be hitting biceps, chest, shoulders. Seven. Two. One. Rest. Oh. 40 seconds, team. Back to the top. Now the black rose. Coming up in 20 seconds. I'm throwing all the heavier weights at Zim over here. Eight seconds, guys. Narrow, wide rows. Two more rounds through. Three, start setting up. One, work. Bend at the knees, hips and knees. <sighs> Come on, 10 seconds. Put those dumbbells down slow. Two, one, rest. Woo! Valley press is coming up. You're starting down here, but dumbbells should be up at your shoulder height when you hit the top of that move. So my palm is level with my shoulder. Five seconds. Three. One. Let's work. Come 
Come on, team. One more round through. How are we doing? There we go. So I like to see some energy out there today. Tuesday team, we got a rest day coming up tomorrow. 15 seconds. Our last round through, wide and narrow rows. Let's go. Andy's got the shirt on, work harder. You can't hear me. Three, two, one. Work, wide and narrow rows, let's go. Squeeze those shoulder blades back in together. Five, three, two, one, rest. Woo! 20 seconds, team. Push presses, last round through. Huh. Nice deep breaths, 10 seconds. Pick them up. Five, two, one, work. Rest it on that shoulder, dip, drive, reset. seconds rest same as last round I believe last round I know we did 45 we're dropping five seconds off this round our first move up is a bent over W raise we've done this before it's a little complicated so pay close attention to the form I'm gonna do it standing up and then I'll show you bent over you're gonna start off with your hands here in front of you thumbs pointed towards your mouth and you're gonna pull those shoulder blades up and back together into this position creating a W with your arms so, bent over looks like this. It's a very small movement with your thumbs pointing towards your mouth, and then they're pointing towards your ears. You're moving all at the shoulder joint. You wanna feel this in the back of the shoulders, the side of the shoulders, and across your upper back. You wanna go light here. I'm gonna go at 12, 10, whatever you got, the lowest weight you have probably. Squeezing up and into a W. Thumbs pointed at the ears. Second movement is a neutral grip front raise, probably keeping the same weight. 
Again, very light. You can use bands on this one. Palms are facing you. Your arms are staying with a slight bend. You're gonna use those shoulders to come up into a straight line and then nice and slow back down. From the front, looks like this. You're coming out a little bit wide. So it's not totally in front. It's a little bit outside, right here. We're going for that for 40 seconds. And from there, we go into straight arm kickbacks. These are all smaller isolation movements. Again, staying with a light weight. This time, we're bent over, dumbbells in our hands. Our arms stay locked out and you're squeezing back like you're going off a ski jump. You know when you go off that kind of movement. So with weights, it looks like this. Slight bend in the knees, low back stays flat. Squeeze up until your arms are parallel with your body, trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Not to be confused with tricep extensions, which is this. We don't want that. We want this. I'm probably gonna go 12 on all of these movements. Give them our 10s back. Any questions, guys? We good. Three moves, all very isolation movements. Go light, focus on the quality of the movement. Drop the weight if you need to. We got 12 seconds, team. W raises. Let's go, pick them up in five, two, one, let's work. Palms squeezing up. Dumbbells pointed at your face and then at your ears. Twenty seconds. Keep those elbows bent. We're not doing a reverse fly. Three, one, press. Should feel that across the upper back and the back of the shoulders. Yeah. We're going neutral raises in 15 seconds, team. Nice deep press. Let those shoulders recover a little bit. Today's a little bit more shoulder focused upper body day. So five, pick them up. Three, one, hands stay facing each other. Squeeze up, nice and slow down. Coming a little bit apart, not too close together. Focus on the front of that shoulder doing all the work. That's where you wanna feel it. Take your time. Six, two, one, rest. We're going straight arm kickbacks. Woo! 15 seconds, team. Bent over at the hips, low back is flat, arms straight, kicking straight back. You're gonna feel this again in the back of the shoulders. A little bit of triceps too, because the tricep extends the shoulder. Three seconds, two, one, work. Come in a little bit too unbent and it comes in with a reverse fly. 
We don't want that. It's just here to here. Five seconds. Three. One. Work. Here. Close. Keep those close to you. Final circuit coming up after this. A little bit of arms to finish this off. A little biceps and triceps. 12 seconds, team. Last round of W raises. Five, pick them up. Get set up. Three, two, one, work. You can sit your butt against the wall if you want a little bit more stabilization. You want to focus on the movement a little more? Clap that butt against the wall. That's okay. Come on. Ten seconds. Six. Three. Two. One. Rest. Neutral raise is coming up. I'm sticking with the same weight. Feeling it right down the front here. Ten seconds. Let's get it. Five. Start picking them up. Three, two, one. Let's work.
15 seconds. Seven. Two. One. Press. Straight arm kickbacks. Last movement, and then we got a nice little rest. And our final circuit, team. Ten seconds. Let's get set up. Straight arm kickbacks. In three. One. Work. Control that weight back down, too. Arms stay pretty straight. You can have a slight bend. Mostly locked out. Twenty seconds. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Rest. Three minutes rest, team. Maybe. That was a pretty low intensity heart rate circuit, so. We might jump the gun a little faster. I'll give you guys a minute or so. Our final circuit. We got the exact, well, we got 40 seconds intervals, only 15 seconds of rest between these two. And only 30 seconds rest between rounds. Two movements. Our first move is a dumbbell skull crusher. I'm gonna go 25s on this. You can do this on the bench, or you can do it on the floor. This is all about the triceps. So you're gonna be on your back, Grip the dumbbells hard. You can be on the floor. Press straight up. Dumbbells are gonna come right back to the sides of your head. Only moving at the elbow joint and then squeeze back up. Flexing the tricep or the back of the arm as hard as you can. Nice and slow down. You can touch the floor if you're doing it on the floor. <clears throat> you can touch the bench if you're doing it on a bench. I'm gonna keep 20s close by because my triceps are feeling a little toasty. That's our first move. Then we got 15 seconds rest and we got supinating bicep curls. I'm gonna go 25s here again. Dumbbells start facing your side. You're gonna rotate up and squeeze. Nice and slow back down. Fully unrotate. Try to get those hands pointed directly towards the ceiling at the top. Like so. Curl, nice and slow back down. Squeeze that bicep as hard as you can at the top. Try to get as good of a contraction as you can. Those are our two moves, 40 seconds each, 15 seconds rest between rounds, or between movements, 30 between rounds. Any questions, guys? We good. We are going at the 45 mark. We got 15 seconds. Get set up, grab your weights. Take a nice deep breath, shake those arms out. Let's finish strong, three rounds through. And we're out of here. Five, three, two, one. Skull crushers, let's work. Elbows pointed towards the sky. Try not to move too much of the shoulder joint. Just at the elbow. Touch, squeeze. Three, two, one. Rest. 15 seconds, team. We're up with some curls. Big vibes. Five, two, one. Grip those dumbbells hard. Squeeze.
15 seconds, team. Come on. First round, if you breeze through it really easily, try to go up a little bit if you can. <clears throat> Eight seconds. I'm gonna stick with 25. That was challenging. Three skull crushers and work. Tension on the bias. Twelve seconds. Five. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo. I'm dropping as many as on my skull crushers. I don't need an actual skull crush. I'm feeling I'm getting a little wobbly here. One more round, 12 seconds team, we're out of here. Let's finish strong. Five, three, one, let's work. Slow on the way down, feel those triceps working, squeeze. Five on the curls, though. Five seconds, team. Three, two, one. Let's work. Last round. Team, give me a couple more good reps. Two, one more, and done. Awesome work, team. Woo! Upper body thing, the books. Day 12, done. Nice work, guys. We got a rest day tomorrow. We'll be back on Thursday with another lower body workout. Thank you guys for joining in today. I will see you Thursday. Have a great rest of your Tuesday.